Steve's question, for someone facing a possible multiple sclerosis diagnosis, what tests are run before arriving at multiple sclerosis? How is lupus and Lyme's disease ruled out? Steve, the diagnosis of multiple sclerosis is both the diagnosis of inclusion and exclusion. The diagnosis of multiple sclerosis continues to be predominantly a clinical diagnosis based on neurologic symptoms separated in time and space. Something happened, it may have improved over a period of time, and then there's a period of time before the next neurologic event. When we're making the diagnosis of multiple sclerosis, there are many tests that we use to either rule out possible mimickers or to actually support the diagnosis. But the diagnosis itself is still clinical based on what you report to your physician and what signs the physician may see on your neurologic exam. For example, do you have brisk reflexes? Do your eye movements move smoothly? Some of the common tests that are run while the diagnosis of multiple sclerosis is made is the MRI. The MRI is very uh, sensitive in developing the and diagnosing multiple sclerosis. It's highly unusual to have a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis made with abnormal, without having an abnormal MRI. The spinal fluid can be used to support that there's an inflammatory disorder going on. It's not specific for multiple sclerosis. And in fact, if it shows any unusual findings, such as a ele very elevated white count or a very elevated protein level, it may raise the spectra of other diseases that may be presenting. Uh, visual evokes is a study, an electrical study, that measures how long it takes for the brain to, to record the stimulus that it's seeing. This, again, can be sometimes used to support the diagnosis. And then based on an individual patient's history, those, there may be other tests that are included to exclude other things that may be mimicking multiple sclerosis. For example, Lyme's disease. In Georgia, there's only been six recorded cases of Lyme's disease in the last year. We don't spend a lot of time testing for Lyme disease. But if we hear that someone's a hunter and they have had a target lesion or they've had a uh, tick bite that raises a specter of possible Lyme's disease, then we may test for that. The other question, lupus, um, lupus is a disorder that's much more common in African Americans. It's something that causes skin rashes. Um, there may be kidney involvement. So anything that would be unusual in the medical history would raise a specter of looking for that disorder. But the diagnosis of MS is very much tailored to an individual patient's presentation, their signs and symptoms, and their previous medical history.